Hey, uh, this is Sridhar from WPWDesign.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, display a custom field only if it has a value using the shortcode wrapper component. In this test site, I've got um, these plugins active, advanced custom fields, code snippets, and custom post type UI. So using this custom post type UI plugin, I have already created a custom post type. called book underscore author and I have created a custom field group called author meta which should appear on all the or which is associated to this author custom post type so in this field group I've got three custom fields and all of them are the URL type Twitter underscore URL, Facebook underscore URL, and LinkedIn URL. So if I go to the list of authors, I've already created one entry. And I've given a title, some content. And also I have filled in the URLs, three URLs uh, for all these three social profile custom fields. So Let's go to Oxygen and Templates and create a new template that applies to all the single pages of the book author custom post type. I'm going to select main as the template from which this template should inherit the header inner content and the footer and I'm going to apply this to all the singular entries of authors or author book author CPT and I'm going to set the template priority to one to make sure that this template um, overrides or has precedence over any other generic template that may be uh, applied or applying to the single entries of the custom post types or post types. Okay, I'm going to hit publish. And edit this template with oxygen. Okay, so let's add a section to begin with. And inside the section, I'm going to go to WordPress, dynamic data, title to fetch and output the title of this custom post type uh, entry and then I'm going to go to click on content to output the content and let's add a div and insert this div let's display um, Twitter icon so I'm going to click on add and we'll search for icon and uh, start entering Twitter here and click on this icon and let's change the font size to icon size to 30 let's go to twitter.com to grab the hexadecimal color code of this icon okay so we want this icon now to be linking to whatever the user has entered uh, for the custom field value of this particular Twitter underscore URL uh, meta field. So what we need to do is click on this uh, the chain or the link icon and I'm going to close this WordPress dialog and click on data and in the insert dynamic data uh, pop-up I'm going to click on advanced custom field under post and click on Twitter URL okay so now this icon is basically linking to whatever is the value of this custom field Twitter underscore URL All right, so let's save it
and have a look at on the front end and here as you can see if I put my mouse over you can see the URL in the status bar of the browser and it is working fine now what happens if this custom field does not have any value so let's say I basically delete that and update this entry come back here and reload now this icon is still having a link but the, the link URL is wrong incorrect it is now basically linking to the same um, same page so what should ideally happen is that if a custom field does not have a value that means it is not populated then it should not be even output in the first place on the front end so one way that we can deal with this in uh, oxygen is by using the shortcode wrapper which is a very versatile component that uh, not many people actually know the power of okay so what I've done is uh, uh, using this code snippets plugin I have added a new snippet uh, having this title that says short code to output a custom field only if it has a value and this is the code I'm going to share this in a uh, blog post so you can copy this and paste it in your WordPress installation okay so let me just do a walkthrough this one the first uh, parameter of this add shortcode function is nothing but the name of the shortcode that we are setting it can be anything just make sure that it does not uh, have spaces or anything <clears throat> and you don't have to change it you can just use this as it is and uh, coming to the code of the function that is associated with this particular custom short code here we have a if condition so in this if condition what we are doing is we are checking to see if advanced custom fields plugin is active so that is what this class underscore exists ACF does and we are also checking for the presence of the value of the custom field which is sent as a parameter to the short code if you take a look at the sample usage you can see that um, this is the name of the short code show if has value so that is the opening tag and also at, at the end the closing tag and here you can see field name is something that we have to supply as a parameter as an input uh, when you when we use the short code so whatever we supply uh, as the value of the field name is what is going to be the value of this particular text that is dollar uh, adds field name and we are using this get underscore field which is the ACF function and it is going to retrieve the value of this custom field so only if ACF is active and if the particular custom field whatever it is that you supply has a value then you return the content or show the content so this content is nothing but whatever is placed inside the short code wrapper component so this part will be clear in a few minutes for you otherwise return nothing just don't do anything so let's see how we can use this uh, custom short code to solve the problem wherein um, the uh, custom field value or custom uh, something should not appear if the custom field does not have a value <coughs> okay so I'm gonna bring up the structure panel and insert this div add a short code wrapper and for the short code what we are going to do is <coughs> we're going to use this full short code here and for whatever 
we need to basically fetch the value or look for the value of this particular custom field for the Twitter icon which is Twitter underscore URL okay and this content we should remove that content in oxygen so the reason being that content is nothing but whatever is placed inside the short code wrapper I'm, I'm gonna move the short code wrapper to uh, like that and I'm gonna move this link wrapper inside the short code wrapper so now what what what's happening is that uh, we are going to basically check for the value of the custom field called twitter underscore url and only if it has a value and only if ACF is active that is when this is going to be output whatever is kept here in this case it's a link wrapper so let's save it come here and reload and as you can see that icon is gone we just need to make sure that um, it is working fine by populating that custom field again yeah, as you can see it appears Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Bye for now.